Hello everyone, welcome to Mini Orange. In this video, we are going to show you how to set up single sign on between two WordPress sites. Let's start. Log in to your WordPress site, where your users are stored. This site will act as an identity provider. After logging, click on the Plugins tab. Click on Add New button. Search for OAuth Server plugin in the search bar. Now, install the plugin, and click on Activate button to activate the plugin. We have successfully installed the OAuth Server plugin as IDP in the first WordPress site. Log in to your second WordPress site, where you want to perform SSO. This second site will act as service provider. After logging, click on the Plugins tab. Click on Add New button. Search for OAuth Client plugin in the search box. Now, install the plugin, and click on Activate button to activate the plugin. We have successfully installed the OAuth Client plugin as SP on the second WordPress site. Now, go to MiniOrange OAuth Client plugin. Click on Add New Application button. Now, search for WordPress OAuth Provider application in the search box and click on it. Here, you can see the redirect URL. Keep the redirect URL handy it will be required later. Click on the Next button. App name is already filled here, just edit the endpoints with your OAuth provider site URL. Click on the next button. You need to provide the client ID and client secret here, for that go to the WordPress site where we have installed the OAuth server plugin. Click on the OAuth server plugin. Here you can see the OAuth clients list, choose WordPress as OAuth client from the list. Enter client name as you want. Paste the redirect URL here, which we have copied from the OAuth client plugin. Click on the Save Client button. After saving your client you will get the client ID and client secret. Copy the client ID and client secret. Paste the client ID and client secret here, which we have copied from MiniOrange OAuth server plugin. The scope is already filled, click on the Next button. Verify your configuration details and click on Finish button. After finishing you will get attributes name and attribute values on the test configuration table. Now, click on the finish button again, as the test is performed successfully. Now, we will map attribute names provided by OAuth server with OAuth client attributes. Go to the attribute or role mapping tab. Select the attribute from the drop down and click on save settings button. Now, we will set mini orange OAuth widget wherever you want on your website. Go to Appearance and then Widget section. Click on plus icon. Search for Mini Orange OAuth widget in the search box and click on it. You can see the widget is added, just click on Update button. Let's see how it works. Go to your site URL on the private window and you will be able to see the login button with display name you have given. Click on it. Enter your first WordPress site user credentials and click on Login button. Click on Allow. You have successfully logged in, now you will be able to access your WordPress profile. Thank you for watching this video for any other questions drop us a query on info at Zecurify.com.